I like to look good. Looking okay. good is good business, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to be addressed how you're dressed, so you have to come proper all the time. And okay. I feel like in this business, there is the show mm -hmm. and there's the business, and you have to be able to combine the two because it's part of the branding process. And yeah. hey, you have to represent. Indeed, exactly. like you slay in everything. <laughs> Suit your day, tuxedos, cafe, <laughs> like bright up. Wait, what haven't you what I've never seen you in a bikini before. Why? Um, not that I don't have a banging body, I do. <laughs> but um, I mean, I think when it, it will come natural to me, I, I don't swim. I don't know how to swim, so I'll put oh. that out there. Okay. Disclaimer, I don't know how to swim. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. you really hardly see me, you know, okay. we'll, in those we'll, areas, we'll... the beach or the pool. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'll, I think I will have to take on that challenge to do a photo yeah. shoot with a bikini kind of photo oh, shoot. Oh, because we've heard <laughs> that you have a killer leg. Uh, like, no, killer legs, rather. Killer legs, yeah. yeah, like your legs are everything. Are we seeing them? I huh? think for me, that's the best part of my body. Okay, mm -hmm. and you're not afraid to fly, like you're just no, showing it. Show anyway. it if you got it, show it. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, let's talk about Seven Bango. Yes, like, um, how I'm, I'm about asking you, I don't know, a little bit, you know, you know, sometimes I'm very nosy. Yeah, how much did it cost you? Um, I can't put out the figure in public, okay. but um, I'll give you a plus and minus. Okay. So, plus and minus between 10 to 15 million. Whoa, yes, because it was a low budget film all Cameroonians, cast and crew. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and we shot in Mondoni, okay. a village in Mondoni. So yeah, we, we cut a lot of costs doing Seven Bango. Okay. Yeah. Shot and oh, that was no. four years ago. So my oh, new yes, films that we're doing right now will never even mm -hmm. cost between that bracket. Yeah. yeah. Obviously. Now, wasn't it risky shooting in Mondoni considering the crisis and everything? <laughs> Did you have any challenges whatsoever? We had a lot of challenges because, first of all, we were shooting in Mondoni in the heat of the crisis, mm -hmm. number one. Yeah. And then we had no electricity or portable water or even hotels. Whoa. So we moved there. We had to take someone's, you know, someone's house. We rent the entire house mm -hmm. and we moved there. We had to get, you know, portable water, uh, you know, without any publicity and um electricity we, electricity we're working on generator 24 7. Whoa. yeah hmm. 24 7. and um for and we used to bathe in the Wuri river too yeah yeah that was <laughs> one that? of the best experiences <laughs> of my life okay yeah <laughs> i was amazing now, for yeah. how long did you stay there three weeks Three weeks. Mm -hmm. Now, your cast and crew, what were the criteria? What were you looking for, actually? I was just looking for talent. Okay. I was basically looking for, for raw talent, new faces. Mm -hmm. um, it was just about getting the right people that were going to bring the story to life exactly the way wanted we wanted it to be told. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, there's this tendency, like we tend to see a lot of familiar faces in almost all movies. Is there a particular reason? I think we're in the phase where our industry is growing. Mm -hmm. So those who have put in the work for years behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know, working for nothing, yeah. no pay, nothing. I think producers are actually beginning to use them more to like, you know what, you guys were there with us when we're not paying, mm -hmm. where we could barely feed you guys, even pay your transportation to come on set. Mm -hmm. Now that a little bit of money is coming into the movie industry, I think you guys need to benefit from this. We need to give you a chance why we're trying to bring in new faces as well. And we need to understand that they need to build the faces of the already existing actors before they're bringing in new actors who will come and take over. Because at the end of the day, if we don't have faces that we've built that are recognizable, that are bankable, we, we don't have like movie stars. We don't. Okay, so that's yeah. the reason. Now so, I mean, I'm, I'm speaking here as a producer. That's the reason mm -hmm. I will first of all go to those people who are one talented, mm -hmm. who have the numbers, who have put in the years, who are recognizable, okay. who have been there for years and have the experience. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to look for newbies and bring them in as well okay. to collaborate with this, you know, old school. Now, a lot of newbies, they often complain that um, there's a lot of uh, harassment, sexual harassment, like you must sleep with a producer, an editor, or somebody in the, in the mm -hmm. movie yeah, in order to get a role. Now, you as a producer. Yeah. I mean, I think it? that exists in all sectors. It's not only in the movie industry. Let's be fair. Okay. I've worked in the corporate world. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing that happens. Okay. When you make yourself vulnerable and desperate, anybody wants to take advantage of you. Okay. So the only thing that I can say to any newbie who is coming in, any aspiring 
actress or actor who is coming in because it's both ways let's yeah. not make as if it's only the guys <laughs> that want to take advantage of the girls yeah. the only thing i can tell them is just put in the work okay and when the timing is right you get your chance mm -hmm. show up for auditions showcase your talents and don't be desperate don't be vulnerable if not they're gonna prey on you it happens everywhere mm -hmm. both in the entertainment industry in the corporate world it's everywhere